So we have beer review. We've got beer review. So for January, I'm doing dry January in aid of brain tumor research. So if you want to donate to my brain tumor research, there is a link come up in the chat, or you can go to Just Giving and search for expense. Um, I'm the only one on there, so it's easy to find. Um, so we're doing dry January. So all my beer reviews throughout January are for alcohol-free beer. So today we have Low Tides Brune DMC. So hopefully I don't get a DMC strike for this. Hopefully I don't get a DMC strike. But they've got a really cool, like, old juke... Not, not juke box. What's this called? Uh, walk, 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 uh, walk box? Not a walk box. Oh, a stereo. An old kind of radio. An old radio. What's it say on there? Low Tide Brewing Co. And in it, they've got, like... People... There's someone chilling out. It's actually someone's house. There's people chilling out on a sofa. There's a log burner down this end. And something going on in here. What's this in the middle? Oh, it's stairs. It's stairs. The, the radio is someone's house. It's someone's house. Right. So what style of this is supposed to be? So it's alcohol-free beer. That's what it says there. Uh, ingredients. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't give a style of beer that it's supposed to be. Did anybody? Boombox. That's it. It's a boombox. Did anybody catch this week's Apprentice in the UK? Um, this week's Apprentice, they were doing alcohol-free, alcohol-free drinks, and um, they all. I think they all fucked up. To be honest, they all fucked up, and none of them got anything that was right. None of them got anything that was right. We've got two follow ages coming up. Okay. Yorkshire B, how are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. You just missed Ola. You just missed Ola. Oh, he's, he's, he's there. He's there. But he just came and we got a cat attack from him. Oh, man. So this is quite a dark beer. This one actually looks a bit more promising than we've had before. So everything we've had has been really, really clear and no colour to it. Apart from Ho Garden, which, which was a, a wheat beer, which obviously had the wheaty colour to it. But that's, that's looking quite good. That's nice and dark. Maybe this might be more interesting. Okay, it does smell. It smells a bit paltry. It smells a bit like it's got that sort of element to it. So it's a bit richer. It's got a much richer flavour to it than anything else I've had so far this month. And it's nice and dark. So this is going to be good. I, I know it's going to be good. I know from, from the outset. Let me just check this as an alcohol-free one before I take a sip from it. Yes, it's alcohol-free. <laughs> okay, yeah. It tastes like... It tastes like a watered-down porter. Like I've... um. Like I've just added a bit of water to it, but it's good. It's good because it does taste like it's supposed to, but it's not overpowering. It's not overpowering in any way. Sometimes I find find porters way too much, but sometimes I find them. Yeah, I can't drink loads of it. But this kind of gives you that essence of of a strong, a strongly flavoured beer, but it's just there at the back. It's just at the back. So I think it's like a strong flavoured beer that you can drink a lot of. <laughs> that does that make sense? But that's good. I like that one. Definitely smells good. So yeah, with this, I think I'm going to give this probably a four. I reckon this is a good, solid four out of five. So cheers, everybody.